two weekends ago I picked up this Tronxy X5SA 3D printer from a local seller for $200. It has some inherent flaws with the design. Uh, primary one is that it has dual Z's and there's no way to tie them together. And there are ways to work around that, but I wanted to do an int intelligent uh, method of resolving the issue once and for all. So uh, there are many upgrades that I have done and this is like, well, the second test print and the first test print that I did was just this square here which came out pretty good and the dimensions are uh, within point, point 0.1 of a millimeter so that's excellent uh, so first I got a BL touch so that's a authentic uh, genuine BL touch to touch off on this side of the bed and this side of the bed and then it independently adjusts the Z and one thing that's required to do that is a new custom controller. This is all just temporarily set up because I'm still making sure that it works. And so this new controller has uh, five drivers there. And so you have X and Y, Z and Z1. So that's Z and Z1 are now independently controlled. And then here's your extruder. Uh, those are the drivers for the stepper motors that are on this. This is a Core XY system. Um, this is a Big Tree Tech Octopus version 1.1 with a TMC 2209 drivers driven by a Raspberry Pi 4B 4 gigabyte. This is a um, Raspberry Pi 7 inch genuine screen in a Smart Pi Pro case. And it's running uh, Clipper software. I have Clipper screen on here, and I have Fluid on my computer. Both of these are just different ways of monitoring the software that's uh, running behind the system. And for my slicing, I just have, um, I was recently introduced to uh, Cura, has a 5.0 beta out, so this is what I'm trying to print. It's, uh, if you could believe it or not, my first ever Benchy, and I've been 3D printing for over two years now. <laughs> uh, there are a few things that I, I had problems setting this up. Uh, it's taken me probably three full days of working on this to get it to the point where it can just print something. Uh, and I, I, so let's let's back up a little bit. I wanted a bigger 3D printer than the one that I have. I have an Ender 3 Pro that does 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters in height. Uh, this does 330 cubed, uh, so it's 50% larger. And this will allow me to do a lot more um, bigger projects that I have in mind just noticing that this belt here is anything but flat and in line. <laughs> these are, I'm sure, the cheapest belts that they could find, these uh, GT2 style belts. I have looked for uh, genuine Gates belts, and that's maybe an upgrade in the future. Uh, future upgrades would also include, well, first I got this uh, glass bed here, and other future upgrades are uh, trying to convert this more into something called a VZ bot and a VZ bot is a full upgrade for the Tronxy X5 SA series of printer it just goes way faster than that all right uh, I do plan on doing a video about all the things that I had to fix just to get this to work first off uh, and watch out for that video in the near future. Goodbye.